Okay, so now that you have your clip art out and organized and easily accessible, we are going to grab four pieces of clip art to make our main navigation page. So we are going to select all of them at one time to make it super easy for us. We're going to grab the sun, the whale, the beach ball, and then this wave over here. So hit Command C, and then you're simply going to go over to page three for me or your next page and you're going to hit command V on your keyboard. So now we have the materials we're going to be using for this navigation page. Okay. Now I'm going to select these three things and move them over to the side and I'm going to take this one and move it over here as well. Oops, my page is being a little finicky right there. Okay, so now we have a blank page, and what we want to do is create an area for our title. So we're going to go up to this area called Shape, and we're going to grab this square that we can actually manipulate into any shape we want. So I'm going to put it on the top left corner. Go ahead and do that with me now, okay? And you're going to drag it across like that, okay? And I'm going to move it a little bit further down. And then I'm going to do Command C, Command V to get a duplicate. And I'm going to bring it down to the bottom. I'm going to make this a little smaller simply by dragging it down. And then I'm going to select both of them at the same time. And we're going to change the color from this blue color to a black color. Now you could go over here and just do that. Okay. Or you can use this area where it says fill. Okay, but since the black is right there, that's a quicker option for us. Okay, so now we have this area for a title. We're going to go up and grab some text. So you see when I clicked that button, this appeared right here. It's very small, right? We want to make it bigger and we want to change the font. So let's first write in our title, and our title is just going to be Open Ended Board Games. Or I think it's Game Boards, right? Game boards. All right, so that's too small still, so we're going to double click it and we go over to this area and I'm going to change the font. I have the font as American Typewriter. You may or may not have that. If you don't, just select a font that you like. Now we're going to make it bigger and we're going to change the color to white and then we're going to move this up here. So now we have open ended game boards. All right, so that looks really nice and very clear and visible. Okay, and let's see, now we want to grab all three of these again and move them over. All right, actually, you know what, before we do that, let's do this. We're going to go up here and grab another shape, and we want to make our um, choices seem like they're buttons. Okay, so we're going to make a square, and you just um, kind of eyeball this and see if these all fit together. We're going to do three of them. So I just did Command C, Command V. Now they don't all fit on the page at this size. It's a little bit too, too big, right? So I'm going to select all of them, which I already did, and then I'm going to go over to Arrange, hit Group, and we're going to make them a little smaller. And notice how they all go at the same size, okay? Or they're the same dimensions. So let's make it a little bit bigger, okay? Now I am going to center them. You notice how that yellow line appears to help us center them. I'm going to ungroup them and then I'm going to move this one slightly up. Okay. Now we want to change the color so we're going to select all of them again. We're going to go over to style, change the color to white, give it a border so we can see it, and we're going to add a shadow to make it look like there's a button. Okay, now I feel like these are too close together, so I'm simply going to move them like that. Okay, and once again, notice how convenient those yellow lines are for us. Now, we need to take all three of these and we need to send them back. These are an extra layer, and if we don't send them back when I bring over one of these pieces, you notice it won't go on top. Okay, so the easiest way and most um, efficient way to do this is to select all of them. You're going to double click and hit send back. Okay, so now when we bring this forward, it's right on top uh, as we want. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm putting the sun in the center because I'm putting it a little bit higher and that just makes sense to me for the sun. I'm going to move over this whale. So you should be doing this right now as well. Okay, so we'll do that. It looks like it's a little bit too big. So once again, it's really easy to resize it. You just grab the corners of the clip art picture, and we're going to put this one on the left. So it's looking really good so far, but we want to give our front page the feel that they're um, actually in the water. So we're going to go back up here and grab the shape again, okay? And we're going to drag it over all these pictures. But don't worry, we have the feature to send it all back, right? So we're going to go like that, and we're going to click on here, double click, send back. 
So we could keep this color. Let's see how it looks with um, the wave here. We want to put three of these waves out. So we're just going to do um, Control C or Command C and put those waves out. Okay, so I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Go ahead and adjust yours however you like them. Okay, and you'll notice the first one is actually falling behind this one, which does not look good. So we're going to click just that one, double click and bring front and you'll notice how it pops forward. Okay, so that is that. Okay, so let's see if we want to change this color. I think I want to change it to a lighter color. I'm going to use this little water um, water drop dropper <laughs> and you can actually match the color to the clip art that you have if you want to have a really cohesive feel or you can um, go up here and you can adjust the color on this color wheel. So let's go with that nice color. Okay, and and yeah, that, that is our page that we have so far. So you should have completed this before you move on to the next video. And the next video is going to be actually setting up our game boards. I'll see you there.